பைந்தமிழ்மலர் பாமாலை சூடி உன் பாதமலர் பணிந்து பாடவும் வேண்டும் எண்ணம் மனம் கணிந்துனது கடை கண் my academic training is actually in sociology uh, and i teach at the national university of singapore in one of the residential colleges uh, but to be honest i think i have spent uh, far many more years delving in carnatic music than in sociology so i began as a student of carnatic vocal more than 3 decades ago um, at the singapore indian fine arts society um, it's fondly referred to by its acronym cfas um you know historically it's been one of the leading arts institutions in singapore where the kind of training in indian performing arts has always been of high quality so i completed my diploma in uh, in cfas in carnatic vocal back in 1999 and uh, though i've not taken music as a full time career i have keenly pursued it uh, performing concerts on various platforms i also provide vocal accompaniment to bharatanatyam performances um uh, and of course of you know there are moments when it's hard to juggle work and family commitments and all of that but i think uh, given that it's my passion i do try to make some time for it and likewise uh, for this particular performance kachinili yes i started learning music from a very young age my parents were my first teachers and uh, eventually i graduated to learn advanced uh, uh, music lessons from various artists uh, some of the more prominent names that i can think of um, is uh, vidushi ms sheela from bangalore and uh, vidushi r vedwali amma from chennai i continue my music journey right now with one of my aunts my um, mrs uh, swarna sukumar in bangalore i used to be in the software industry and then i figured that music is my calling so i now i'm a full time um music teacher performer whenever the opportunity arises i think for both of us the dilemma was um how do we adapt cinema music in in within the carnatic framework of a of a repertoire as in when we perform a concert on stage how do you adapt it because in carnatic music concerts typically there's a lot of scope for creative elements which we call manodharmam um there is also an emphasis in the way in which we handle a particular raga so obviously though the film songs are based on some of the primary ragas the way it's been approached in the film itself it has it's a little lighter than one would typically see in a song that's rendered in a classical uh, carnatic concert so how do we give that sort of heavier feel of that raga when we are rendering it ourselves to what extent should we exactly copy or 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 render the song as is in the film to what extent should we reconfigure it or what what is the extent of creativity that we can sort of apply when we approach these songs i think we learned a lot uh, in our engagement with rkb so precisely when we were thinking about these issues because um i, I think we were clueless also to begin with um and i think today maybe after this mentorship i i may not hesitate to include even some of these relevant cinema songs in my classical repertoire as well moving forward if i may add i yes, think yes. one of the other learning things that personally i felt was also how we can structure a concert you know um in terms of yes we have performed several times before um we we do know a broad perspective of what we need to do but also in terms of audience appeal you know we had chosen a set of songs and then uh, rkb sir came up saying you know think from an audience perspective do you think that song will appeal or something else do you think this ragam will appeal or something else you know so that kind of a uh, thinking process um uh, kind of opened my mind at least i'm sure even lavanya has benefited through that um so i think that was one of the really big highlights i felt through this mentorship because many times we say okay theme theme and thematic and we only pick those songs just pertaining to that theme we really don't think if the audience is going to enjoy that so so um the 2021 katrinile uh, raga program that uh, has been named aptly is is a is an inspiration from what we've done is we've taken film music as an inspiration and 
uh, we're, we're performing a few songs from the Tamil film industry of the yesteryear uh, as in a Carnatic concert. Typically, it works the other way around even today, where film directors and musicians um, in, get inspiration from Carnatic music ragas, etc., and they perform and they uh, compose and sing in those ragams. But this is the other way around. So as you know, you know, music has been an intrinsic feature of popular cinema in India. And I think nowhere else you'd find characters in the film, protagonists actually lip syncing to songs, um, which are not sung by the actor themselves, uh, at least typically in the modern day uh, cinema. And you'll find songs for every season, every festival, every situation across Indian cinema in all languages. And the trajectories of Tamil popular music has not been any different. Um, so that said, I would say the basis of several songs in the yester years, at least, has predominantly emerged from the grammar of Carnatic music. It would have been impossible to compose or even sing a, a song, render a song without having some knowledge of classical or Carnatic music. Uh, so, you know, we were talking about lip syncing, right, uh, earlier. So in the early days, uh, the prerequisite to act in a film is that you have to be an accomplished singer also. So um, in Tamil film, we have, you know, the likes of uh, Sri M. K. Tyagaraja Bhagavatar and um, M. S. Subhalakshmi Amma, who is, you know, a household name. So these artists would render the songs in the film themselves. And I think that probably takes precedence over acting in itself. Uh, so I think in this concert, we will be highlighting those songs. And that said, I think now coming back to your question, um, you know, what is the role of cinema in popularizing Carnatic music. Otherwise you find, you know, it's this boring, this sort of traditional sort of musical repertoire, you know? So I think like even for, for young students today, we have to make the syllabus exciting for them. I think Shruti would also agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, so in that sense, I think it's great that there are these sorts of parallels between film music and Carnatic music. Please come and watch us perform live in Kachanile Tamil Silver Screen Melodies of Yesteryears at the Esplanade Recital Studio on September 24th at 7.30 p.m.